Hello everyone, welcome back to Fallout 4. Thanks again for 500 subscribers. Uh, that is a milestone that actually motivated me to turn up. So uh, expect some bonus videos from me to appear. So we are almost at 700 mods in this list, which is just crazy because my game runs extremely good and I can play for over 10 hours without having a single crash. So let's talk about the first mod. Uh, let's start off with some mods from John Connor. This is a weapon mod. This is called the Wasp. It is a uniquely designed handgun that can be crafted at the chem lab. It also has its own set of ammunition of many types depending on which mods you use. There are lots of modifications for this and I will try my best to show you all of them. So. Depending on which mods you add, it can have a motor with vibrations. And if you're using, you know, controller, you can feel that. So, I like the look of this gun, especially when you add the long barrel to it. Uh, it also has some scope options, but I actually hate scopes on pistols unless it has the small lens with the dot. Uh, but sadly, that option was not available on this weapon. On this weapon, and uh, this gun did not give me any problems or any like errors or crashes. I was able to fire and reload. I was able to make the ammo just fine. I had no issues. The only small problem that I had with this mod was that the projectile does not line up with the cursor. Maybe it was something that was only in third person. I couldn't really remember, but I just remember that, you know, that stuck out to me. But it's not the first time I've dealt with this issue, so it really shouldn't be too big of a problem. Uh, you can also use this with the ECO to change the ammo to something vanilla, which is what I did here in this video. I am using standard fusion cells as my ammunition for this gun. So I'm actually a fan of this. Aesthetically, I think it's one of the best looking guns on the Nexus, and so I am keeping it. Next is the Corin Plate Armor. This is also made by John Connor. This armor can be crafted at the chem bench, and it has a nice Raider theme to it. So the armor is modular. It is a set that has CBBE and body side support. You'll get the legs, the arms, the chest, and the helmet, all separate so you can choose which pieces you want to keep and use. Uh, the helmet is okay, but I didn't bother too much with it since it would make my character go bold whenever I equipped it. So luckily, we have the Corin Solar Crown Helmet Y Cowboy Hat. This is also crafted at the chem bench, and uh, this thing looks really nice. This can be considered as an add-on for the uh, the Corin Plate Armor because they have the same plug-in name, so it will occupy the same plug-in slot. Uh, this hat looks great to me. I'm a fan of it, but I can do without the Anime uh, Girl stickers that's on it, but uh, they're not really noticeable until you like zoom in on it, so it's not too much of a problem. I'm going to keep this one as well. I really like this. So uh, all of these mods were made by John Connor, the same author who made the Mad Moxie outfit and the steampunk weapons. So thank you to them for all of these really cool mods that I've been showcasing lately. Uh, I have just been loving them and I'm keeping all of them. So next up is the pink Hello Kitty minigun replacer by Enemy Sniper. This is a texture for the minigun. It's going to re replace the textures of all miniguns in the game so that they will be pink. <laughs> it looks cool, but it doesn't make for a good replacer because, you know, the colors are really bright and you don't want your raiders spawning in with these bright Hello Kitty miniguns. Uh, also, because the colors are so bright and desaturated, it's far from matching the color of the pink Hello Kitty X01 power armor that I showcased in the previous video, which I will also show here as well. Uh, this can be good for something like screenshots, but I wouldn't recommend playing with this one. Next up is a settlement mod called the Toxic Pond Station Inn. 
This station is not far from Diamond City, and I'm going to show you where it is and how to get there. So, I'm facing towards Diamond City Stadium. Straight ahead is the front door where you see Piper. And uh, in the direction headed towards the Egret Towards Marina, you should see it because there is a building added to the area right next to the railroad tracks. There is also an icon that should appear on your compass that has the railroad icon. So, there is a pond nearby this place as well, which should make it a little bit easier to find, and you can use that for the water pumps of the settlement. The workbench for this place is going to be on the roof of the building. I'm going to say that I love the theme of this settlement. It reminds me a lot of 76, because in that game, uh, there is a railroad system, like a large one, and it has a bunch of station shops along the tracks. The settlers here will respond to the beacon, so if you have a beacon down, they will show up, and they can be sent on supply lines. Everything seems to be working here. Uh, everything seems to be fine at first, except uh, you cannot send supply lines or move people to this settlement, only from this settlement. Which is just really weird. <laughs> At first I thought, okay, I can hold the L, you know. It doesn't matter that I can't send settlers to this place or send supply lines to this place. If I can send them from there, that's fine. I'll just use the settlers that respond to the beacon and assign them to the shops and all the resources nearby. But, <laughs> what killed this mod for me the most was that in the diner area, the diner seats... Uh, they not only could you not scrap them, but you the player character cannot interact with them So you could not even sit in them. So this hurts me because I was really hyped for this mod <laughs> And uh, it's just sad because I'm sadly going to have to pass on it for now uh, I sent the PM to the author, but I'm not going to get my hopes up I will say that overall it was really good and I might I may end up coming back and just downloading this mod anyway but it was just really annoying not being able to scrap or use the diner seats this also makes me want to uh, it just also further motivates me to want to learn uh, Fallout 4's creation kit because I am familiar with Skyrim and Fallout 3's creation kit I have made mods for both of those games so you know Fallout 4 just shouldn't be too different uh, problems like this just motivate me because I really want to use this mod. Sadly, uh, I just had to pass on it for now.